Okay, welcome to the, the nine day nutritional cellular cleansing, fasting. We've come up with a few different names over the last 19 years. Um, but the whole idea is about balancing the body out and helping people to live their best life that uh, they're capable of living and being supported in that process. Uh, when I was introduced to this 16 years ago, dramatically and profoundly changed my life. So, but Isogenics has really evolved over these last, well, they've been around 19 years. They started in 2002. I was introduced late 2005. And at the time I was a mechanic. Um, this was, this is my before and after pictures with Isogenics. This is my personal transformation. And I was really struggling right here. Um, fatigue, mental fatigue, physical fatigue was to the extreme. And I was starting to get a lot of pain in my body, especially in my feet. Um, and so I was just doing whatever I could do to get through the day. I, I call it survival mode now, looking back, you know, um, adopted that, that phrase. Um, not too long into my Isogenics journey, I was totally in survival mode and, and uh, struggling. And it was just, uh, it was all I could do to get through, you know, the day. It was hard to get up in the morning and and just always being tired. And in spite of my best efforts as well, I was eating extremely healthy. I'm not gonna go deep into my story, but eating extremely healthy in this picture right here, juicing and eating a basically raw food diet basically and, uh, and meat as well. I'd eat tuna right out of a can and, um, and exercising extreme, riding my bike to work and back and running stadiums and lifting weights. and. It wasn't working. I was about ready to give up. This is when we were introduced Isogenics. And so this is the picture I took the night before I started. And that's my one month transformation right there. And the thing that you can't see is the energy that I got and the mental clarity. It was like the fog lifted. And that changed my life. I mean, losing the weight was awesome, you know, and uh, feeling comfortable in my clothes and getting back to the size that, you know, I felt good about. But uh the, the energy and the mental clarity by far outweighs, you know, the physical transformation. And, uh, but I got both and it's been amazing and it's been sustainable. It's, you know, it's really been a lifestyle. The results, the way that I got the results, and, and this is four and a half months from this total transformation, four and a half months. And the way that I got this transformation was through a lifestyle approach, not like a fad diet or a quick fix or doing something super extreme um, that I wouldn't be able to maintain without an extreme amount of willpower. Uh, that wasn't the case. And, and so I've been able to maintain it now for over 16 years. And it's been an incredible journey. Uh, I've loved sharing the message and helping people to understand how I got this transformation um, when, you know, nothing before that was working. I really exhausted a lot of things, supplements, exercise, and eating right. And uh, but, so we'll go through and explain, you know, some of the ways and, and the science and the principles behind how I got this transformation. Um, one bowl of spinach in 1953 gave you enough iron, and that's an essential mineral that our bodies need. We need about 60 different minerals on a daily basis. And iron is, you know, spinach is a good source of iron. So back in 1953, one bowl of spinach would satisfy that demand. In 2007, how many bowls of spinach do you think you need to get the same amount of iron? And most people know that you're going to need more spinach because the soil and, you know, the produce isn't the same. But most people are surprised that it's 51 bowls of spinach. It's not a happy thought. Most people, when I'm doing live presentations, 7, 10, five, you know, around in that area, 51 bowls. And it's not just spinach and it's not just uh, iron. This is the decline of minerals in the soil because they basically sterilize the soil with all the pesticide and herbicide use. Um, and so the bacteria and the ecosystem in the soil was basically killed. And so no longer were the water soluble minerals being produced. So as you continue to farm, you're pulling them out, but they're not being replenished. They use very minimal nutrients now in the fertilizers. About three minerals are used in the fertilizer, um, but we need about 60. So what's gonna happen? Well, our bodies aren't gonna get the nutrients they need to fuel the, the organs and what they do. Just like our car needs a certain you know, um, uh, type of liquid, not just any liquid will work in a car. 
um, you got to use a very specific kind that's designed for the car. And this is the same thing with our body. There are certain nutrients and this is, there's really a lack of education out there around this. And, and I think a lot of trust is put into our food and supplement industry, but unfortunately, uh, what I learned and that I'll share a little bit today is, is that it's not integritous. And so those nutrients aren't there either. Um, there's so many studies around that. This is Senate document 264 saying that you can't eat enough fruits, vegetables, and grains to supply your body with the minerals it requires because it would, your stomach's not big enough is what it says right here. And uh, you couldn't take 51 bowls of spinach just to get your iron. So what happens is since the body isn't able to defend itself and repair itself adequately, disease is on the rise. And that's what the red line is indicating. And uh, so when air was air, water was water, and food was food, and poison was in its own little containers and kind of tucked away, um, we were fine. But it's not like that anymore. It's not been like that for a long time. The poison is now in the air, water, and food. Um, and it's a lot worse than people realize. And I really spent a lot of time when I was, you know, pointed in this direction. Once I got into isogenics and got the results, I wanted to know why I got the results that I did. And I started learning. And once I got on the right track, it was just like all kinds of information that I started to internalize that, you know, is causing this health crisis that we're in and a lot of frustration that goes along with that. And a lot of, you know, disappointment and sadness. So uh, there's a study that's done by the American Red Cross and they're inspecting the blood that is in newborn babies when they're born and they do it through the umbilical cord blood. And uh, how many toxins do they find? You know, chemicals, uh, do they find in the blood of a newborn baby? Over 300. And it's not like one out of 10, it's not three out of 10, it's 10 out of 10. And there's probably a lot more in there because they're only checking for so many. Um, and so, this is a real problem. Toxicity is a huge, huge problem. So we have toxicity on one end and a lack of nutrition and, and um, on the other end. Linus Pauling, he has 48 PhDs and like three Nobel prizes. I mean, this guy's pretty smart. He said, every sickness and disease can be traced back to a mineral deficiency in the human body. And we're seeing it right here on this graph from the US Department of Agriculture. You know, there's the decline of minerals, and there's the disease as a result. So these nutrients are very important and we just don't get that education and, and awareness. And that's what I've been on a mission to. When I got the results and then, you know, I wasn't looking at sharing, you know, isogenics with people proactively. It was when I started learning these things that I really felt like I have a mission in life to, to help people become aware. And because it impacted my health so profoundly and dramatically, and then a few people at work that got on the products because they watched. Um, then, you know, once I started learning about it, I, I'm like, people need to know about this. And I became very proactive with this information. That's what put me on this, you know, passion and journey. Uh, the movie Food Matters, I recommend this. There's a, a few good ones out there that really go into this. And Food Matters is one of them. I think it came out like in 2008, somewhere around there. And one of the quotes in there is the reason one vitamin can cure so many illnesses is because the deficiency of one vitamin can cause many illnesses. You know, we heard about scurvy and, and these different things like vitamin C. If you don't have enough iron, you become anemic. So, you know, that's one ingredient or one, one vitamin, one mineral. Um, it's very profound. And, and again, there's so much ignorance behind this and, and a lot of misplaced trust. The Dirty Dozen is a uh, independent lab that will, uh, for public awareness, what are the most toxic fruits and vegetables this year and they uh, that are being sold in the produce in the, in the grocery stores? And this one, this study is pretty old. I made this slide a long time ago, like 2007 or so. And at that time, and, and it the, over the other years that I had looked, celery was always at the top. So there must be something about the absorbability of pesticides and uh, these, these chemicals that they're using on our produce, insecticides and herbicides. Um, that really gets into celery. And it's not on the outside, like you can wash it off, but this gets to the inside. It gets uptaken through the roots. Peaches, I mean, how many of these things out of these 12 have you eaten? And, uh, you know, pretty much all of them. When I was eating really, really healthy, I was forcing kale and collard greens 
you know, and spinach, I would blend all those together in my, um, in my uh, juicer. It didn't taste great, but I put those in there knowing that that would be a really healthy thing to put in there, not knowing, you know, what else was going in there along with that. So our food has become toxic and nutritionally deficient. Not a good combination, <laughs> not a good combination for humans. And, and then you have processed food. Um, this is the pH scale. And up here would be chlorine and bleach. Down here would be battery acid. Both of those would kill us, right? Uh, all three of those. But uh, our body needs to have some things that are acidic and some things that are alkaline. And when we get those balanced, we should be right here in the middle. And that's in the way of nutrients. Like people think lemons are acidic. They're actually not. There's so many minerals in, in lemons that they're actually alkaline. Um, so just as an example, so pH balance, I think a lot of us have heard about that. And, you know, a swimming pool is the same thing. And when you get the right mixture, uh, uh, the pool acid and the, the, the um, chlorine, then that water is pristine, it's clean, it's bacteria free and uh, enjoyable to swim in. Well, we're over 70% water and our body, like the pool guy that can come and regulate the acid and, and chlorine, internally, this automatically happens for us. It's like we have a pool guy always inside our body and it wants to regulate the pH and uh, the minerals are gonna be the big key to uh, creating that pH balance. It's called homeostasis. And 7.0 to 7.5 is where you wanna be and you can measure your own pH. Because the food doesn't have it and uh, uh, the, you know, in produce and then um, uh, the, the processed food, which they're not putting that in there, the, and, and, well, I was going to say the produce and the supplements because of lack of integrity and not using really, you know, integritous ingredients. Uh, one study that just I'll share with you is called Bogus Supplements. They sent over 20 supplements to an independent lab and had them inspect to see if they were being integritous. And none of them were. None of them had what they said were in it, not even close. And it's, it's not regulated. Uh, so it's regulated, but very minimally. Um, so it's very difficult to manage our pH. Um, the only way you're gonna be able to do it now is through supplementation. Um, and, and so you're gonna have to find the kind of supplements that would be honest and integritous and then uh, have the wide variety of nutrients in it that your bodies are gonna need. Uh, now, most people are eating processed food now. I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's really high. Some people that's all they eat is processed food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks in between. Um, so not only does this not have your nutrients in it, it's going to have chemicals in there too, in the way of preservatives, and dyes and, and things like that. Like I remember reading a study about the blueberries that were on the front of cereal boxes. And it said, they're not blueberries. The picture is a blueberry, but look on the back. You're not going to find blueberries in there. It's called a crunchlet, a blueberry crunchlet. And it's made of red dye and blue dye and high fructose corn syrup. Now don't mistake fructose for you know, being something that's exclusively bad, that word is not. That's what you get in your carrots and in your apples and your bananas. You have to have that. But high and then corn syrup. So that's man-made. It's very bad. Watch the movie King Corn. It'll frighten you, but it's good to know. It's better. It's not good to be ignorant in that case. Ignorance is not bliss. It's called King Corn. It's a documentary. Anyways, high fructose corn syrup is really bad. And that's what most of your processed foods are gonna have it, your sodas. And so um, those chemicals are not, so not only are we not getting the nutrients to run the organs, now we're gonna attack the body and it causes the body to become very acidic. There's a lot of cheap fillers, um, like flour is a cheap filler because they process it so much that they process the minerals out of it. And, and so when they start making these things with that, it becomes a processed carb, which is really bad for you as well. And that's what most of the processed foods are gonna be made out of. These processed uh, sugars, high fructose corn syrup and cheap fillers. So it's just, we're in a health crisis. There's no question. This is really old. This is, I think I must've made this, I must've updated in 2010 because I know I made this slide before that. Um, 
but this was the obesity chart. Yeah. 2008. Um, it, it's not good. You guys, what does that say? 2000, maybe 2010. So maybe that's when I, I, I updated the slide and the red is the obesity. I need to look now because it's like one in two people are pretty close to that are obese. This number right here is problems with, uh, at childbirth. Um, some kind of, you know, abnorm abnormality uh, that is taking place. And it was one out of four in 2008 and then 2010, it was one in three. Um, so, and, and that's with, again, with the infants. It's, it's just, we're not, it's not a surprise. We're, we're in a health crisis and obesity. I, I heard they were going to change the number, like up it, but it was 30 pounds overweight, being 30 pounds overweight. And for every five pounds on your heart, is like pumping your blood to the moon and back. I can't remember how often it was. It was like every day or something like that. It was that much extra work because all of the capillaries, the very small blood vessels that are in that five pounds of fat. Um, and so it's making the heart work harder, which is you know the number one killer is cardiovascular disease. So all of these things are for a reason. They're not like just some kind of coincidence or some unknown reason. Um, we did a study with our products and we did it against food that was sold in the grocery store, a very strict diet that they had to follow eating their macros. So not processed food. We're eating more like your whole foods and, uh, against isogenics, eating isogenics, two shakes a day, and then one regular normal meal and some snacks in between. So it was a very strict regimen. And they had two, you know, sides, the people that were eating just from the grocery store and people that were eating isogenics. Uh, two thirds of their meals were from isogenics and then a third of the meals were from the grocery store and it went 11 weeks and then it went to 12 months. So um, this study in, in, si in six months, uh, those that were on isogenics had four times more weight loss. Now this was with no exercise, no exercise, just the body being balanced out. Remember that pH when the body balances out, there's some pretty awesome things that take place and weight loss is one of them. Um, also muscle was increased muscle atrophies over time and people get, they get weaker, you know, grandma needs help getting, being pulled out of the couch because she can't get up on her own. People have a hard time. They need a walker. That's muscle atrophy and skeletal atrophy. So, uh, four times more muscle mass was increased. No exercise, no lifting weights and breaking the muscle down, just eating good, solid nutrition. Um, increased metabolism. So now our systems are working better because remember we were starving them of the nutrients that they needed to work properly. And so they were barely getting by, but now we're giving them everything they need. And so everything starts to you know, run, all the cylinders are firing. Um, two times more increase in metabolism. Again, not, they weren't out power walking or anything like that. They were just taking in good nutrition. And then the toxins that were released to the urine uh, two or three times more. That's a big deal right there. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And that has a lot to do with the fat loss. They actually saw a 33% decrease in visceral fat around the organs. They were doing MRIs and that all of this is a, 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 an outlier, which means it's so far out of what we would expect the human body to be able to produce on good nutrition that it seems almost like science fiction. He said he, Paul, Dr. Paul Arciero said he wouldn't have believed it had he not done it himself. And this one really blew him away. He says, even with extreme exercise and extremely healthy eating, you do not see that. So uh, isogenics has set a new precedence for results. We call it results you can't get anywhere else. So the way that I like to get people started is for the first 30 days is to do it in a way that it's not going to encroach too much on people's lives and their habits because we are creatures of habit, it's very difficult to, uh, to give up old habits and start new habits. And so I wanna do that in a very doable way. So the way that I introduce people to the isogenic nutrition is what I believe is with the, the two most profound products to do that and also keep it simple. And so these two canisters of shake um, is your meal. So you'd replace breakfast every morning. And then the isogenesis is a telomere support, which is the foundation uh, DNA health of every cell, which, uh, you know, produces profound positive results, these two combined. Um, so this is how I've shared isogenesis got people started in their first month. Um, 
And if they want to add more products, great. There are, there are other products. We're going to talk about the cleansing system here in just a minute, uh, but that product's not included in here in the Forever Pack. But your body will start to remove impurities and support those organs that, you know, detoxify. That's your organs that do it. There isn't anything that does that for you. There's just a way of supporting those organs. And this nutritional density in here will begin that process and really balance the body out, get it to homeostasis for sure within the first week um, and start producing results where people feel better. They look better. They have more energy, uh, better stamina, better mental clarity. So it's a great way to get started. It's very simple. Even if you didn't add anything, this would dramatically uh, change the trajectory of anybody's health. Um, but, you know, there, there's an isopantry out there. You know, there's a whole isogenic store that has products that are amazing. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about some of those uh, with the uh, supporting on a higher level of getting those impurities out of the body. Uh, I did add recently the collagen um, to this forever pack made it the forever young pack. And there's a whole different presentation where I go uh, through that and the, the isogenesis a little bit deeper, but we're going to really, we're focusing on the, the cleansing system here today. And the shake is a part of that. So um, this nutrition and pH scale has everything to do with our superfood meal replacement and which is a lifestyle approach. All right. Um, so one of the things about the, these toxins that get into the body, and that shouldn't be there. I made some changes, so we'll just have to ignore that for a second. Um, this is an unhealthy body on the upper half. And what we mean by unhealthy was they weren't born that way. They weren't like all of a sudden, like you hit a certain age and your body says, okay, it's time to be unhealthy. This is healthy people do healthy things. They put healthy things in their body every day. That's why they're healthy. They're supporting these organs with these essential nutrients that we need. And, and so this body's not getting those. And so it's breaking down. This would be the colon, the intestines in the colon. This is your liver. Um, and so a fatty liver, you know, this, this mucoloid that builds up in the colon, it's not being, you know, expelled from the body, starts to cause problems, leaky gut. Some of you have heard of that, IBS and things like that. Um, so when a, when a harmful chemical, like uh, from drinking water, if you're drinking water from a bottle that has PCBs in it, that is a, a chemical byproduct of the plastic. And it actually leaches into the water and it causes cancer. And so you're drinking in that PCB. Fire retardant's another big one that's just part of our everyday life. We sleep on it because it's in our mattress, fire retardant. It's in baby clothes and blankets and it's in your car. So these chemicals, when they get introduced to the body, if it's not supported nutritionally, they're just gonna continue to stay in the body. They're not gonna be expelled from the body. The number one way would be through the colon, through a bowel movement. The second way would be through the liver, but this body's not working. So those toxins just stay in the body. They get into the bloodstream and they start to be uh, distributed throughout the body. Now there's a, a third mechanism to uh, address these toxins when they come in and that's the fat. What they've learned is that your body will actually start to store the toxins inside the fat. Now, if they don't end up getting into the fat before they get into an organ, they'll end up in an organ. And uh, carcinogens can disrupt the function of cells, which then start to cause them to malfunction. And then they mutate that way and they cause cancer and tumors and things like that. They can also be neural blockers where they get into the receptors of the cells. And so your hormones aren't functioning properly because they're, they're blocked with different chemicals and heavy metals. So it's not a good deal. We want those toxins out. Remember in that study, it said that we expel three times more toxins from the body than eating a healthy diet. Um, now this was uh, 2005 where they actually showed a fat cell, how it, it'll expand to and create more fat to hold toxins in that fat. It just kind of quagmires it down and then it's stuck in there kind of like quicksand. So the fat cells build up with um, these chemicals and heavy metals and things that the body can't metabolize. And your body's intelligent. It knows what should be in there and what shouldn't be. And it just does the best it can to keep us going. Uh, when, the when the fat cell is full of toxins, it'll just get bigger. 
you don't get more fat cells. You have a certain number of fat cells, they just get bigger and smaller. Now, the nutrition that is in this cleanse for life that we're gonna talk a little bit more here on out um, is you take some servings of this and um, as you do, I, I'm doing a cleanse day to day actually. Um, I started this morning when I woke up and I use the little two ounce bottles, these little two ounce bottles here and uh, four ounces is a serving. So I drink two of these at a time and I'll do that four times throughout the day. So probably about another hour, I'll take my last one for the day. Um, it comes in a 32 ounce bottle and it also comes in a powdered form. And we also have a mango um, uh, flavor as well. I think it's peach mango. I like the little two ounce bottles. And right now that's in the, this berry, excuse me, this berry form, but they're going to be making a liquid form. They just announced that a liquid form of the peach mango, which will be cool. So you're taking that and, and this doesn't cleanse your body. This supports the organs. It's giving them the nutrients that they need. And it's not your daily recommended that you would be getting from your food. What Isogenics did is they got these super nutrients that they know that support these organs even better than uh, what your normal diet would contain. And it, they come from places all over the world from the Himalayas. And, and so um, about a hundred different nutrients in here to support these different organs and, 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 and the blood. So when these toxins come in, now that you're supported, when they, uh, most of them will go out the colon and I've had people who have had colonoscopies who said the doctor couldn't believe how much better their colon looked after doing a cleanse. Uh, it's not a colon cleanse, it's a full body nutritional cleanse. We're supporting all the organs, even the lymphatic system and, and your spleen and, and all of that. Um, and so uh, you're not gonna, you don't get like diarrhea and things like that. Like you don't have to stay around the house because it's not that kind of cleanse. Most people think when they think of cleanse, they think of, you know, like it's really gonna do a number on the, on the bowel movements. It doesn't do that with this. Uh, most of the toxins, will be cleansed through the urination process because anything that's in the body just keeps circulating through the liver. Um, but also there's chelators in here that will go and find things that aren't being circulated through the blood and they'll go and grab them and pull them out. They're called chelators, it starts with a, a C. Um, so when these toxins now recirculate, now that the organs are getting the nutrients they need to function properly, the, the, the toxins, the things that are identified as no good for the body, like it can't be assimilated, then it's gonna get this water soluble substance around it. That triggers it to go to the kidneys. Once it's in the kidneys, where's it gonna go? Out the urine. And that's what our clinical study showed is that three times more than a healthy diet where they're eating all the essential macros. Um, pretty amazing. Um, so, Everybody needs to cleanse. There isn't anybody on this planet that doesn't need to cleanse. They find jet fuel molecules in Eskimo breast milk, okay? So um, if you're living in a, a polluted city, especially, right? But everybody needs to do nutritional cleansing. And there is nothing like this out there. Again, in the clinical study, which ended up in medical journals, they had never seen anything like this and the results that followed. There's some ingredients here that I'm not gonna go through these at length. You can watch this again in the recorded mode and or take a screenshot if you want. But out of this nutritional healing book, um, the ingredients that are in our cleanse, um, this is a very thick book, like a dictionary, but I'll, I'll give you like a detail of about eight or so, just real quick. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail on these, but um, antibacterial, this is aloe, and we use the inner filet and not the skin because it would cancel out one of the um, regenerating uh, ingredients that are in the filet. If you do the skin and the filet, it actually cancels it out. There's something in the skin of the aloe that would cancel it out, but antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. And I'm not making any claims that our cleanse uh, cures any illnesses or diseases but this is from clinical studies that you know they reported on in the uh, that book. Helps with regeneration with your cells. I mean, just different amazing things here. You can see those again if you want to take a, a snapshot. Cleansing and alkalining. An alkaline body is dramatically and profoundly different on how it operates compared to a very acidic body. 
licorice root, very powerful, you know, antibacterial, antiviral, again, very important in today's day. It helps to get rid of that extracellular water where you can't take your ring off or maybe your um, ankles are swelling, adrenal glands. Again, very, very powerful uh, uh, botanical here. Burdock root, all of these are powerful. They're just amazing and very gentle as well. Like you don't, it doesn't like mess you up or cause a, all of this, you know, dramatic discomforts. It can helps control with cell mutations. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, um, restorative active ingredients. It helps with the liver function. And this does also uh, helps with the edema. It's an antioxidant, gallbladder. I mean, cleanses the blood, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, the yellow dog, see, this is like a chelator. It binds to heavy metals and pulls them out. It'll go find them and pull them out of the body. Um, Anti-inflammatory, again, colon and liver functions, blood and kidney cleanser. So again, some, you know, this is why our cleanse is so amazing and why it works. We're not trying to like, you know, if, if, if these things weren't in there, you know, if our, if our cleanse works, there has to be a reason why it works. And if it didn't work, then these things wouldn't be in there because these work. <laughs> Does that make sense? This is not our study. This is out of that book that I just shared with you, which I have that book. Um, Podiarco, antifungal, antibacterial, cleanses blood, you know, cardiovascular issues. Peppermint. That's, this is why they have peppermints when you leave the restaurant. They don't want you to have an upset stomach when you leave. So they're pretty smart, right? You thought it was just to help with your breath and be a nice little gesture. No, they don't want you to have a stomach ache. This helps with um, calming the, the stomach. So pretty smart. I didn't know that. I'm like, oh, those little sneaks. They're being really sneaky, aren't they? Um, Eleutherol, another, uh, again, very powerful. These are adaptogens. There's not very many adaptogens in the world boost immune system function, uh, helps with endurance. Adaptogens, Olympic athletes uh, will use adaptogens. So th that's just a few of the ingredients, but you can see what's being supported and why we're getting the results that we are getting. Um, when it comes to weight loss uh, and chelating out and getting these toxins out of the body that aren't leaving, remember they're there because the bodies are not being supported. People are eating toxic food that's contributing to more toxins being put in the body. So here's that fat cell. So let's just take this and make this circle a fat cell. And these are all this, these toxins, the different kinds of toxins that could get into the body. Um, cleaning supplies. I was a mechanic and I, I cleaned my hand in the solvent tank, but there's these gloves that come up to your elbows and they're about a quarter inch thick. That solvent isn't for cleaning your hands, it's for cleaning parts off. And it's very toxic. And I would clean my hands because it just melted the grease right off your hands. And it really messed up the hands, but it got rid of the grease really fast. I didn't know that whatever you get on your skin can be inside your body into your liver within five seconds. So imagine all the toxins that I had as 15 years as a mechanic. And, and, and people are exposed to a lot of things like that in their everyday environment. So here's the body, it's gained weight because the fat cells are expanding and they also will put it out to the extremities, the elbows, the hands, the knees, the, the ankles, trying to get it away from the organs to keep you safe. And that's why we get a lot of joint problems because those toxins are being pushed away um, from the organs. So when we go on a diet, we're gonna exercise, we're gonna calorie restrict. Well, this white stuff, the fat, is quagmiring those toxins, but it's also energy. It's stored energy. And if you think about it, a body doesn't need that much stored energy, um, but it's not worried about how much energy you need. It's worried about the toxins. But when you go on a diet, you're gonna force it to start going to some of this energy because you're not putting it in through your mouth anymore like you were. So it's gotta get the energy to keep you going. So it's gonna start pulling it out of the fat cell, which shrinks the fat cell down which then allows those chemicals to no longer be in the fat. They get picked up by the cardiovascular vessels and now they're being distributed all over the body. They, they were quagmired down, but now they're not. So what happens is, is that triggers an alarm within the body that says, hey, there's a lot of intruders out there. You know, We need to get those back into the fat cell. So uh, liver, start pumping out more fat whenever you can. And then the body won't let any more of this fat go. 
Now, I don't know if you noticed that when I did it, but see, see how the, the love handles kind of get a little smaller, but they don't go away because there's too many toxins released. And that's a plateau. doesn't matter how much you exercise, how good you eat, it's not going away because it's defending you and your body's going to win over your efforts. And uh, it was very frustrating for me. And it's frustrating for a lot of people when they're in that mode right there. So when we give up on our diet because we're not getting the results and we're tired and you don't feel much better and these are going to get into your brain as well. There are some that cross the blood brain barrier. So now we don't feel good. We're tired all the time. We're definitely hungry and we're craving, you know, sweets and things like that. So we finally give in because we're not getting the results. And so that allows the liver to just really start creating more fat. And so it puts the fat back right, right back on. And then the toxins now get put back in the fat. They didn't leave the body because you didn't support the organs with any nutrition that was going to get them out. And so that's the rebound. And usually you'll gain back more weight because it overcompensates. Um, so this was a big, huge uh, aha for me. Not so much when I lost the weight, it bewildered me when I released the weight so quickly. I released 53 pounds in eight weeks. That's my story. And it was be dramatically because of this cleanse, this nutritional cellular nutrition. Um, um, so I was at a plateau when I started on isogenics and uh, they introduced me to the nine day system, which I did. And the cleanse was a part of that. And in, in my, you know, first experience on that, I released 27 pounds in my first month. And that was with no exercise. It just balanced my body out and, and it got to work right away. And uh, it was amazing. It bewildered me. It was, I was, was the word flabbergasted? I, I didn't know why it happened. I just know it did. And I, it was the solution I was looking for times 10. And uh, it, it took some discipline to do the nine day reset. However, the results far outweigh like the sacrifice. It wasn't a sacrifice. Yeah, well, I guess it was because sacrifice isn't, it's really giving up something of a lower nature for something of a higher nature. That's a good definition of sacrifice. And so what I was giving up was food that was nutritionally bankrupt and not getting to the cause of what I needed. And I started putting that in my body and I gave up, you know, that other unhealthy food. And so that's a higher principle, right? And so I gave up something of a lower nature for something of a higher nature. Anytime we make that trade, we always get better results. That could never produce in your life worse results. That's not how it works. So um, I maintained it, you know, I, after the nine day reset, I went to a maintenance program and I've been able to maintain it now for 16 years. And it's, it's been an incredible, incredible journey. And I love it. It's a lifestyle. Um, it's, it's not a quick fix. It was something that, um, that I've been able to maintain the results that produce that. So like I said, I'm cleansing today. Well, I, what did this was 16 years ago. Well, I'm, I didn't, wasn't planning on being able to use that as an example, but I just happened to be cleansing today. And so here I am still doing it. It's a way of life. Um, and one that I enjoy and appreciate, and I'm very grateful for. So a diet, you know, when people go on diets, they're not addressing the issue. And a diet, if, look at the first three letters of the word diet, <laughs> it's die. Um, when we go on diets, most people will skip breakfast, maybe eat, you know, some celery or something for lunch, and then they eat a meal for dinner. And that actually causes your body to put on more fat, more and more fat, because it thinks it's in a famine. And all of a sudden it got some food. So let's, you know, on top of toxins, that's another way to gain weight. And that's how sumo wrestlers gain their weight. They eat two hours out of the day. That's it. And they eat as much as they can. Um, but we want a healthy lifestyle. We don't want a diet. We don't want a quick fix. We don't want a fad, you know, um, some, some way that could get you to lose weight, but you're never going to maintain it. And it wouldn't be healthy if you did. So we really want a healthy lifestyle. And that's what isogenics is. So uh, these are results of people who have used the products that are giving them the results you can't get anywhere else, but they're loving it. It's not like a love-hate thing. It's a love-love. When, when you do this right and you don't starve the body and, and, and freak out and think it's going to be some kind of diet that you got to do some kind of extraordinary thing, the people who do this the right way 
love isogenics and they become isogenic serves for life. They build an isogenics pantry. So this is a 90 day result for her, you know, and that hanging skin, it's not there because we're not losing uh, the weight in an unhealthy, you know, way that, you know, causes extreme weight loss, but it's unhealthy at the same time. Same thing with Heather, when she released over 125 pounds. She's a health coach now. And uh, they did an article on, on, on in People Magazine that I'll show you here in a second. This is my friend, uh, Spencer. He just lives an hour north of me, used to. And uh, this is a gal that couldn't release the weight after her um, third child. And somebody shared isogenics with her. And that's her before and after picture. She became a millionaire in our company because they, you know, they have referral compensation. When we let other people know about this, they compensate us. Me and my wife are coming up on $10 million that we'll have made in isogenics. Sometime early next year, we'll hit $10 million that they pay us. Um, so Everett, he lives here in my town and uh, he was 112 pounds when he started. He's 82 years old. He had a walker. He couldn't drive a car too weak. Um, talked about that at muscle atrophy and skeletal atrophy. He actually gained 14 pounds using the same program that these guys use to lose weight. And uh, he put on muscle. Remember in the study, they put on four times more muscle. He didn't even use his walker. I'd say in the meetings, hey, Everett, where's your walker? And he said, I don't know. The grandkids were using it and they lost it. Um, you know, you see these kind of profound results. We have close to a thousand people with their before and after pictures that they submitted to the company. We have way more than that, that have released over hundred pounds. It's the hundred pound wall of fame. But on that wall, they actually submitted their before and afters uh, with the a newspaper, you know, showing that when they started so they couldn't cheat. And a uh, hundred pounds, 200 pounds, 300, even over four, 500 pounds on that wall. Nancy, not only, you know, overweight, but again, when you starve the body of the nutrients it needs, the organs aren't going to work like it's supposed to. And, you know, like Linus Pauline said, you know, you're going to end up with some kind of degenerative issue on an accelerated level. But this is her after somebody shared it with her, Nancy. I know Nancy personally. And this is another example of actually putting on muscle. Now he did both at the same time, released weight and put on muscle at the same time just like the study showed, but he couldn't gain weight no matter what he did, that's Chase, put on about 15 pounds of muscle. But you can see the, the abs popped out more because he got rid of that insulation of toxic fat. Skinny people still have skinny fat and they need to cleanse. In fact, his body's more exposed to the toxins because he's not void of toxins. He just isn't, you know, got the insulation of fat to protect him from him, protect him from them. So uh, skinny people absolutely need to cleanse. They typically have a lot of health problems. You have Jill, Jeff Beebe. I was just with Jeff Beebe for a couple of days last week at the corporate office, Thursday and Friday last week. There's Heather in the People Magazine. Now she's a health coach. And this is Kenya, 439 pounds. They had three people from Isogenics in this edition. I think they spotlighted like eight people in the 2018, three of them were from Isogenics. And this is her more recent picture. That's Kenya right there, that's her. Isn't that amazing? Transforming people's lives. These guys are brothers. And uh, this is how I always look, no matter how much I worked out. You can tell he works out, but he's not you know, getting the results that he wants, I'm sure. Probably pretty frustrated like I was. And that's him there. So uh, again, for the first 30 days, this is how I like to get people started, but we're gonna go into the outline of the nine day reset now. Um, and those of you, you know, that have, have reached that 30 days, I would really recommend doing bare minimum this right here for your first 30 days, get the body balanced. It'll be a much more enjoyable experience and it's gonna be, doing things for you um, that the body wasn't doing with this. And it just really balances the body out and really gets you prepared for this, this outline that we're about to go through and then the collagen. So the nine day system, you can print this up. It's at allinonebusiness.net. If you go uh, at the top, there's a bunch of tabs. There's one that says helpful documents. And then in there, you'll see the nine day, it's an eight page, nine day instruction. 
uh, eight page uh, booklet. And there's some really good information in there. And those little dot things too, the, where it shows the figures, it has that in a very explainable way and you can print it out and you can share it with people. If you wanna take somebody on this nine day journey with you, it's fun to do it with people and just motivate each other and, and uh, see the different results that each person's getting. But the nine day, we like to, if you're doing the, the forever pack and you've already done your 30 days then you've already done your two shake days before you go into what we call cleanse days. And on a cleanse day, you're not going to be doing your shakes and your meals like you would be doing on a shake day. So this is a shake day outline and this is the cleanse day outline. So you have two different days that you're doing. The reason we call it nine days is because the cleansing starts right here. And for 48 hours, you're gonna do uh, nothing but cleansing. And then you go into your shakes and your meals for five days. And then you do two more shake or two more cleanse days. So that's a total of nine days from here to here. Um, so the shake days, you're going to do two shakes, uh, typically breakfast and dinner will be a shake. And then you do a nice healthy lunch. Some people will do shake for breakfast and lunch, and then, you know, a, a healthy meal for dinner. And you're going to have some, you know, healthy snacks in between. You don't, you don't want to be hungry during this. You do want to like, clean up what you're eating. If you're eating pastries and soda pop and things like that, those are very unhealthy for you. So, you know, eliminate those during this nine day program. And what you'll find is that as the body alkalines, it gets healthier and you get the body saturated with this, these nutrients, your cravings will change some foods and, and, and snack foods you won't eat anymore. You just won't even want them. And then other foods you'll eat way less of because you're satisfied much quicker. And, uh, you know, pretty much for that reason, you get satisfied and, and, and both taste bud wise and, you know, in your stomach with, you know, these, these foods that are not as healthy. So you eat way less of them. Um, some of them I've given up and, and others I eat way less of. And which is good because you don't want unhealthy, you know, high sugary processed, you know, uh, things in your body. However, it is nice to be able to enjoy them and not have it. Remember how I showed the Snickers bar with that body that was at the plateau with isogenics, when you eat like some cheesecake, um, or some pizza, it doesn't blow you back up immediately because the toxins aren't in the body anymore. And because you got the nutrition from your shakes that day, um, the body's going to get the bad stuff out. And it really is the great equalizer to enjoying your life. And that's what I mean about people who really love isogenics are not the ones who become so strict with their eating habit that it's not enjoyable to them. Um, you can still enjoy, you can still indulge, you can go to the restaurants, you can eat some cheesecake. Again, you won't eat as much, but even if you do, you're still getting the nutrition that's gonna help get the bad stuff out. So some people find that as they actually do that and they enjoy life and they eat some of these foods that are indulging, they actually release more weight, more effectively. Um, it's just kind of a, uh, an interesting fact. So the nine day system, this is the actual pack right here. It's one canister a shake will give you two shakes a day for those five, six, seven days. Um, you have the cleanse that uh, one bottle will do two days. And so you got two bottles of that to get your four days in. And then you have your natural accelerator and your snacks. And it talks about those. We'll go over that on the cleanse day here in just a sec. But the shake day is basically two shakes and a meal um, with some healthy you know, snacks uh, in between. And, and that's what you do. And, and if you're not exercising, I would say don't start exercising. And you don't, def you don't wanna exercise too much because on your cleanse days, you're not doing any shakes and you're not doing any meals. You're gonna take in these other supplements right here. And, uh, and there's, a, there's a point system that I'll show you here in just a second that comes in this eight. Actually, it doesn't come in the eight day little booklet that you can get on this website, but it is on that website. It's under one of the other tabs. So you can get that um, that I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, Cause it is a nutritional cleanse but we're not gonna get the body into digestive mode. These little snacks right here um, are actually gonna give your body some amino acids, some proteins, some um, things that will help keep your blood sugar up. 
and but they're little wafers and you just kind of nibble on them and your body's not going to have to go into digestive mode and get all the digestive fluids going. We want to keep the body cleansing and chelating out. So drinking lots of water. Again, we'll go over that cleanse day in just a sec. Um, all right. So if you have some questions on that, put them in the chat box or we can answer them afterwards. But this is a really good representation of a shake day right here. And that's the S days. Okay. Um, you, you, this is uh, when I got introduced to Isogenics, there was a few pictures out there that were like, wow, that's crazy. Look at what happened to this guy, you know, Peter Green or uh, Peter Ullman and uh, 31 pounds. He was 67 years old when he started in 2002. And he got in way back when the company started, one of our top income earners. This is him at age 84 now. He's actually 86 now. So he's two years older than this picture, but look at him at 86 or 84 showing him at 84. That's him, you know, back at, what was it, 67 years old. Um, so the cleanse days, we're following this over here now, and it tells you exactly what to do. Um, basically, like I said, uh, here's my snacks. Here's my cleanse I've been taking. Um, and then I'm drinking lots of water. There's some other things that I do with it as well, and I'll show you those on the, uh, on the, uh, the points thing here next, but I did four servings. Now I use the little two ounce bottles. If you were going to do four ounces with a 32 ounce bottle, then you would just measure it out into a measuring cup. And then they also have the powder, which would be two scoops of the powder that you mix with water. And then I'm drinking, you know, I got ionized uh, pH water right here that I like to drink on my cleanse days for sure. I try to drink this kind of water all the time anyways, but especially on a cleanse day, don't drink tap water. If you do drink tap water, find another source of good alkaline water and do that for about a month and then try clean, drinking your tap water. You will wonder how you didn't taste those chemicals in the water before. Um, so, and this is kind of like my schedule. You just wanna do it evenly throughout the day when you're taking the cleanse. Um, you know, so I'll end up taking mine probably a little bit later cause I got another uh, Zoom to do right after this one. Maybe I'll just chug some down real quick in between. This is a, a point system that they came up with recently because they've come out with a lot more um, different snacks that you can use besides these wafers that are cleanse day approved. And they allow you to get uh, 10 points. So you can um, uh, pick from these different things. Now these are zero points, so you can do as much of this as you want, like the water or some green tea or something like that. I actually made um, some dandelion, ginger turmeric tea right here that I just drank well um, before the, the Zoom. Um, so those kinds of things, zero crack, I can drink as much of that as I want. Um, one point for a Bia, which is a nice little uh, uh, energy drink that's botanical based. So these different things in Zango, we acquired uh, that company. So that's available in our back offices. Um, adaptogen elixir. Um, so these different things right here, the e-shots, I do e-shots on a cleanse day. I did one right before I started the presentation, a little two ounce energy, adaptogen energy. So uh, different things that you can take here. You just don't want to go over 10 points when you do this. And then three, um, harvest thins, a little bag of chips, little uh, whey thins. These are plant-based. These are uh, whey-based. And uh, you wouldn't want to eat the whole bag at one time. You would eat them throughout the day the snack bites and different things like that. So that's a nice little, I use the Isa Delights as well. I had one so far today, a dark chocolate infused with green tea and it has amino acids in there to satisfy the brain. All right, so those, I use the Isa Delights, the snacks, the isogenic snacks and the e-shots on a cleanse day. All right, so cool slide right there. You can take a snapshot of that if you want. Um, and then also this, is that point system. It's in that website that I showed you. It's, it's not in the booklet, but uh, just look through there and, and you'll find it under the, something under the cleansing. Can't remember what the label was. Last slide here. You wanna make sure that you're using a tape measure and not just the scale, because remember how much muscle did we put on? Four times more muscle. And everybody's muscle is lacking because they're not getting the nutrients in, in an absorbable way to have the amount of muscle they should be having on their bodies. 
Um, so when you start drinking that shake, everybody's going to add muscle and uh, it's more dense, it's smaller. So you're not gonna, you may not notice that you put some muscle on, on your calf or your thighs or on your triceps or on your trapezoid or your chest or you know your forearms. You're not gonna notice that muscle, but the scale will, the scale will totally notice it. And, and so it will offset how much fat you're really losing. Um, if you have a lot of weight to lose, then you will see this will override, the fat will override and you'll see fat loss, but you won't be able to measure all of it with the scale. So doing the measuring tape where it tells you to measure the calf above the knee. We had somebody lose, I think it was three inches off of their knee, three inches. And so where you get these areas, you're not going to notice the most, the place you mostly notice with your clothes is going to be your waist, right? So um, uh, doing the measuring and, it, and the nine day system comes with a tape measure. I have so many of those tape measures from over the years. I think I'm even, yeah, I have one right here. It comes in a little sleeve right there. So um, make sure you measure. You're not going to notice on your neck unless you're wearing a tie or you have a button up shirt. And all of a sudden it's like a lot looser. Um, so make sure you measure. And I would take pictures too. You know, you may not end up wanting to share them with anybody, but when you get an awesome after photo, it's like you're eager to share it with people because you want them to see and be inspired by it. And, and the after picture looks amazing. So um, make sure that you measure. And there's a little in the nine day system to give you a chart on where to measure and to write it in, okay? So we'll open it up for questions and answers now. And uh, I'll go ahead and stop the recording.